up as a kid, my parents had me in tons of our classes, and so I can't thank them enough for encouraging me to be creative and to constantly be exploring that. Um, I took a lot of other art classes when I was at Carleton, so printmaking and drawing and painting. And it's funny, I didn't merge the two, the clay and the drawing, until recently. So I would say within the last like five to six years is when the drawing came back onto my pots. So before that, I was working a lot with glazes um, and a lot of like dipping and pouring and finally it struck me that maybe I should merge my love of drawing and printmaking with the ceramics and I feel like from there it's felt like a natural fit and I'm excited to see where it goes. So growing up in Alaska was a really interesting place just in terms of the environment and the energy because it's such an oil rich area. So I was always really aware of, of that component of the state. And I was there during the Exxon Valdez oil spill. So I went out as a kid and I saw the cleanup site and that left a huge impression on me. And it's something that I feel like has influenced my life going forward. Um, and when I was up there in 2005 with my husband, Aaron, he encouraged me to read The Omnivore's Dilemma by Michael Pollan. And he talked a lot about the connections between food and agriculture and oil and how we fertilize all of our plants that we're eating with oil. And I feel like that was a vehicle in for me to start thinking about how energy and agriculture interconnect and got me back to drawing on my pots. Um, and so from there, it's just kind of been this slow addition of different animals and different components. So like the dinosaurs for me represent fossil fuels. I have sloths that talk about how slow we are to change. So sometimes I'll put wind turbines in the background of those and then the farting cows to talk about methane. So all of the animals have little meanings for me. Thinking about where ceramics is going, um, it's an interesting dilemma because I feel like on the one hand you have places like Target where you can get super cheap, disposable, essentially, ceramic items. And then you have people who, like me, are making things that take a lot of time and a lot of effort. 